Good evening, y'all. I really didn't think I would make a video with just me <laughs> talking about my writing, but like, I kind of wanted to, so here we are. So this video is going to be me talking about my improvements in my writing over the span of a year. So I'm basically going to be reading to you guys uh, a sample of my writing from a year ago versus a sample of my writing now. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, right off the bat, as we're looking at this cover, I'm just cringing mentally at myself. Why did I do this? Who, who in the heck told me this was okay? This cover is literally two different pictures with like crappy text. <laughs> it's so bad! Who let me do this? Ugh, this was the cover I had on my book a year ago. Summer Nights in Seoul, this book had this cover and it attracted reads. Can you believe that? Well, it was only like a hundred reads, but like at the same time, this is just so, such a bad cover that like whatever book attached to it deserves like negative two reads, honestly. All right, so we should move on to the sample, which is even worse than this freaking cover. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I looked at this sample before I made this video, and I just, I can't, I can't get through it, like, without laughing. It's just so bad. Like, it's definitely not the worst writing that I've ever done, but, like, it's, it's so bad. I can't, I can't look at it with a straight face. All right, so this is the sample that I'm gonna read to y'all out loud. I don't think we should talk, she finally said, her gaze, her gaze clashing with mine as it turned bitter. I think you need to move on, it's been three months. A low rumble captured her attention as she rose from the bus stop bench. I need to go, Bella. Don't find me anymore, because we're done. She hopped on the bus as soon as the doors opened, and one last glare back at me told me everything I wanted to, her to say. She wasn't over me, and we both knew it. I watched as the bus pulled out from the stop and raised my watch to check the time. It was 8.03, which meant I had 27 minutes <laughs> to get to work before my boss blows, blows a fuse and massacres the whole staff. So you may be wondering why I enunciated the last, like, two verbs. Okay, so I've been writing this whole, like, passage in past tense. I just, in this one line, I just have to switch to present tense. Ugh, oh, so cringy. And doubled with the fact that I never edited anything, I just thought everything that I spat out was gold. It's just so bad. Like, the first thing that I really wanted to touch on was the verb, like, uh, the verb problem. It's just so bad. But the second thing I also wanted to talk about was my spelling error. Did y'all catch it? Minuted. Yes. Minuted instead of minutes. That is how it is now. Apparently in my brain. So. <laughs> and then um, in the first line, after I put the comma after I don't think we should talk, I capitalize she when it's supposed to be lowercase. And I think I do that for literally every piece of dialogue that I ever do in my past writing. It's really cringy, but I'm really glad I went through all of this bleh so I can improve. Like, I wouldn't say I'm the best at writing now, but I'm significantly better than this. <laughs> okay, what else did I want to touch on? Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so you know how usually people are supposed to write out numbers under like 100, I think, is it? What is it? Yeah. It's, I think it's like under 100. I wrote the number 27, and I do that with all of my writing. <laughs> so, yeah. And not to mention, the dialogue that I write here is just so robotic. It just sounds like, who would ever talk like this to an ex? I should probably have given some context to this passage, shouldn't I have? Okay, here's some context. So, my main character's name is Bella. And so she just ran into her ex. Yeah, like, I think they just broke up, like, a few months ago. 
And so she found her at a bus stop and she was like about to like ask her like, do you still love me? <laughs> but like, uh, I forgot what I named her. I think it was like Abby. Abby's the ex, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. So Abby's like, you know what? Peace out. I don't have time for this. So that's some context for y'all. <laughs> And that's the end of this sample, because I will literally implode if I look at it any longer. So now, let's move on to the donut shop. Already, the cover is much better. My graphic skills have definitely improved over the past year, just because of things I've picked up from like other people. Like, I learned how to herbal- I was inspired by Nikki Pierce books. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's like, awesome. She's like everything I aspire to be. Y'all should check out her Wattpad because she writes super well. And I aspire to be at that level. Yeah, uh, she had mock-ups in her uh, banner on her profile. And I kind of was inspired by her to start making mock-ups for my books to make them look a little bit more professional. So looking at the cover, we can already see that the font <laughs> is actually like readable. You can see the font, you can recognize it, like there's some nice accompaniments like the donuts on the side, the little star thingy on the P on the shop, yeah. And so, yeah, in general it just looks a lot better. So let's move on to the sample. Okay, before I start reading the sample, I learned from Summer Nights in Seoul that I should probably give context. So, the context here is... Uh, these two boys, Ethan and Tweed, uh, just realized that their favorite place in the entire world, Seoul Bakery, is closing. So they're trying to come up with funds to keep the place open. So this is the sample of my, I wouldn't say my most recent writing, but the most recent writing that I've published on Wattpad. At this rate, Mrs. Heifenmeyer is going to have to stay open with $2.17, Tweed teased. A woman in a minivan with her four kits had given them her change, presumably because she thought they were homeless. This isn't working, Tweed. What now? Ethan asked him. He always had their brightest ideas. In response, Tweed just plopped his head down on the cool, scratchy surface of the fold-up table. Go home. Give up, he said in a flat voice, like a bottle of Pepsi that had been left with no cover on for a month, shrugging. Ethan mimicked his position, resting his cheek on the table and facing Tweed. That's very uncharacteristic of you. Are you sure you're actually Tweed? He asked with a raised brow, which was squished with the rest of his features. So already we can see a ton of improvements. Like, for starters, I don't end each um, dialogue with a capital he or she. Like, we can see this in the third uh, paragraph. After I say, go home, give up, I say, comma, with a he lowercase. So that's really good. I feel like my dialogue has also improved. Before, in Summer Nights in Seoul sample, all of my dialogue sounded really forced and just robotic, but I feel like this flows better. It sounds more like a conversation, excuse me, that two friends would be having over this dilemma. I also want to point out that I use a simile here, which is figurative language, which is an improvement from Summer Nights and Soul's sample. I think in Summer Nights and Soul, all of my text was just dialogue, action, and nothing else. I don't even think there was description, because if I'm going to be honest with y'all, I really hate writing description. like when I'm in the zone of like writing a book. Like if I'm typing up a chapter of one of my books, I hate like writing dialogue or not writing dialogue, writing description while I'm writing dialogue or something. So whenever I'm editing my first draft, I go back and I add in description. So the reader won't be like, where is this? An empty vacuum? <laughs> so. Yes, that is improved. What else? Oh, let's talk about um, word usage. I think in Summer Nights and Souls sample, 
I actually included um, two of the same word in uh, a paragraph, which is kind of like a big no-no in writing. You definitely shouldn't do that unless it's like a article or like a transition, but like, no, you just don't do that. So I'm glad I improved enough to not be doing that still. <laughs> So that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about for TDS's sample. I will say that this flows a lot better and also there's less plot holes. Like you can't tell from the sample, but from my own writing and my experience writing in this book, there are a lot less plot holes because I planned out everything with the three act structure. And before I used to kind of wing it. I never really had a plan jumping in which works for some people, but I get distracted easily. Like, you could probably tell when I talk that I go off on side tangents and I forget what I'm talking about <laughs> because I like to hear my own voice. So, that problem has been fixed. And this was the sample. <laughs> it was good, I'd say. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments what you think about uh, my writing improvement. And if you want to, share your own writing improvements. Uh, let's go to the end card. So, y'all should subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Check out all my medias, you know, check out my Wattpad especially, because I update pretty often. And I'm working on something new that I'm not sh quite sure I want to publish yet, but it's coming, it's coming. I, I even made, a, like, a book trailer for it. Haven't released it, but it's coming. So, y'all should subscribe to stay in the know. Anyways... Love y'all. Peace.